This is an unusual phenomenon. This is a Norway maple, Acer platinoides, growing in Eglinton Country Park, Kewaning Irvin, North Ayrshire. Most trees have dormant buds that are capable of what's called epicormic growth. That is, if a tree is damaged, the top, top broken off, hit by lightning, whatever, browsing animals can also cause it, then these dormant buds can develop into new side branches. These are the ones we call epicormic. Here's an example at the bottom of this tree. And this tree has been subject to attack by grey squirrel, who have eaten back the bark, the bark being rich in sugar within the, the phloem section of the bark. The result of that is a large wound has been opened up and fungus has got in. So this tree has lost something like 50% of its wood, making it very prone to being blown over within the wind. Fortunately for the tree, it's within a plantation, so wind speed is low. What's unusual is this tree has a dormant bud that has produced a root. And the root has grown down into the rotting wood below the tree, below that particular section of the tree, and these roots would have eventually have reached the ground and helped to st stabilize this particular plant. Very unusual to see this. You do get it occurring naturally. Trees like rhododendrons, shrubs like rhododendrons, where they touch the ground and remain permanently moist against the soil, they will produce these epicormic or adventitious roots. Adventitious is a root term meaning roots that are not derived from the root system of the tree but from another part such as the bark dormant buds. It's a very dense plantation, therefore the moisture levels were much higher than were normally found in a woodland, in a native woodland, natural woodland. So this tree has had high moisture levels that have encouraged the, the rotting, but have also retained more moisture than the wood and encouraged this root development.